Hello, YouTube and gun streamer. I wanted to come to you today real quick because I've been accused of uh, giving out misleading information. And I just want to set the record straight. Uh, I know we don't always read our descriptions and we don't watch whole videos through, but it's important we all do our research. So, I will tell you the long, complicated process I came to to discover what I have, what I did between this multi mac compatibility. So, this is my father's service weapon. This is a Taurus PT-92, and this is a Beretta-92. Now, Taurus PT-92 mags were hard to find. So, I looked online on YouTube. After watching videos through completely, they told me how to alter Beretta-92 mags for mag compatibility. If you see there, this is... a a Taurus PT-92 mag, this is a Beretta, you see that this is a little wider. So, I widen that up. Okay. And then, I realized that that these do fit together. Look at that. So, if you put that in there, it will fit. See? After widening the holes and Dremel work, I know some people have asked me, what's a Dremel? Well, there's a Dremel right there. Falling in, cutting it. So. And then I also found that Taurus G2 C mags were hard to find. So, I looked I looked myself, this is a realization I came to, that these mags look really similar. But I realized that this is a 12 round capacity. And this is 15. So, of course, this would be a little shorter. So what I had to do was line up Line this up like that to see where I would put the hole in that one right there. See? So, that's how I figured out that was compatible. And again, with the G3 mag, this also looks compatible. Let's see where I'm going to put it. Yep. We drilled in, we widened that hole. This does have a wider hole. And as compared to, yep, as compared to the Beretta mag, see how the hole's wider? I used a pencil, a marker, and I dremeled. Dremel, dremel, dremel. So, but if you want a Beretta 92 mag to work in your GTC, and in your G3, you're probably going to, yep, you're going to need another hole. So, but it will fit because, as you can see, it fits in the magwell. If it didn't fit in the magwell, it would not work. So... But if I want to take this G3 mag, I can pair it with the original Beretta mag. And I would see... It depends on which way you're going back. Well, I know some people say they're not cross-compatible if you're going back from Taurus to Beretta. But when I, when I widened it but kept this bottom part the same, it was cross compatible I didn't find any problems I have not because these are the only G3 mags I have I have not tinkered with these G3 mags yet I may buy another one and do it later but I figured if this worked in my G2C and it does and it does lock back just not all the time I find 
that it might just fit in my G3. And, but it's a little taller and I was right. And if you watch my videos, you see I have taken it to the range and explained that to get cross mag compatibility, you're gonna need a Dremel. So, and let me take this G3 mag and let me, let me see something though. See, that's cross compatible with your G2C. So that's good. So, but yes, this mag for me rules them all. Cause, but if we're sitting at home and they want to get to drumming, go ahead, mark it. Use a ruler. You push this down, and you push this up. You get the spring and the follower out. I used a pencil. You can use a pencil and rule, and I drummled it. You can clearly see my drummel and following marks. I drummled and cleaned it up. But I'm looking for a more uh, precise dremel kit because this one broke. I got this for 15 bucks at Walmart. It's kind of stuck right now. I'm probably going to order one off of Amazon. But that's what I had for you today, YouTube. Just wanted to show you that and the evolution to my discovery about um, the Beretta 92 mags and Taurus mags. Because if you don't know the history... Beretta was in Brazil, and uh, they had a contract. They had a factory there, and once Beretta left, they were done with their contract. Taurus took over the factory and pretty much used everything Beretta had. So that's why everything's so similar, except they had to make it distinctive and widen up the magazine hole so there you go no little history do a little research that's what you'll find out and if you are interested in that uh you're like you just got to be very precise um i did not touch the bottom on the original hole here i widened the top and i copied what I did down there, I went up once I went on this G2C and I made another hole that looked very similar. So there you go. That is how I did it, YouTube and Gun Streamer. And keep shooting. I'll talk to you later. If you like this content, please like and subscribe. Talk to you later.